Oh shit, bro. <laughs> Yo, I, I see a lucky impling. Okay, let me just tell you guys the honest truth. I have pretty much almost given up on collecting lucky implants just because I don't think Jagex is ever gonna like buff them because I just haven't heard any signs of them thinking about doing it. So pretty much lucky implants are not really that lucky because if you open it up 99.9% of the time, the rewards is gonna be like less than 1,000 1, or 2,000 GP. Let me show you guys. Oh, actually, I have 36. But yeah, if there is ever a miracle that Jagex, you know, wants to remove all the like junk stuff from the uh, table for Lucky Amplings, then yeah, we're definitely going to open these. But I'm going to definitely just hold on to these until that miraculous opportunity. Yep. All right. Oh, nice. First kill of the day, bro. Got ourselves Onyx Bolts. All right, perfect. Perfect start. 2,000 cannonballs, not bad. That's good. I always want to get that cannonball collection going now. Still got 34,000 granite dust to use up. And yes, that's what the... Uh... Oh, cannonballs again. Nice. That's two cannonball drops today. Not bad. One elixir too. Alright guys, so I'm back home. Winter vacation has officially begun for me and I got so much more time now so I can actually uh, start doing some things that I normally didn't have time to get around to do. So, uh, to wrap up this 99 crafting, right? I am uh, currently at 539k. I will need to uh, go and do a bit of Blast Furnace. So at Blast Furnace, I plan to uh, smelt a few thousand more gold bars. It'll take like an hour-ish. I am going to also make a thousand plus rune knight uh, bars. So I got all of these while I was uh, making my uh, amethyst arrows while I was AFKing. So yeah, that's that's amazing. I actually got over a thousand. Yeah, I gotta tell you, man, mining rune knight ore is actually really fun. Brings back some really good memories. I always wanted to mine rune knight ore as a kid, uh, and now I, I actually got to do a lot of that. But I'm way older now, though. Be able to make ten thousand rune darts, guys. So I'll see you guys later with all that stuff done. All right, there we go. This is the last of the rune aura, guys. Haven't done uh, this massive operation for rune knight bars since I believe last summer. Right? Was it last summer? Yeah, last summer I had like uh, two thousand plus. I stocked up from like uh, pre Zora nerf and a bunch of bossing, but yeah, this one thousand most of it was actually just for mining, which is ironic, I guess. Not even from PVM, but yeah, nice. Got fourteen mils worth, but. Yeah, gonna make myself 11,000 rune darts and I should be uh, all set again because most of my blowpipe, a lot of it is actually being replaced by the twisted bows and yeah, I have a bunch of ammo for that so. Alright guys, the final product, 10,999 rune darts. Man, that just looks nice. I will use them very wisely and of course, I forgot to mention the gold bars, yeah, I did finish them so. I will see you with the uh, 99 crafting definitely this week for sure for sure makes a fair amount of money the environment is great and stuff like and then i also have free time that that's perfect oh a spare shield hey nice uh, not bad first uh, drop of the day at corp all right guys last kill 800 kc let's see what we get pretty good milestone by the way okay death runes not bad uh, this today's session, 21 kills, got a lot of cannonball drops. I think I got three. Oh yeah, yeah, it's like a 10 minute, 20 second home kill. Not bad, not bad. Oh, elite clue scroll though. That's good. Well, time to do elite clue. Good reward for uh, fastest home kill so far. Okay, first elite clue of the day from raids. Here we go. Ah, uh, well, you know. Alright, I guess. The runes are good. Easy kill, but that lag could have fucked me up though, big time. Oh shit, what? <laughs> Yo, that's crazy actually. I mean, it it's nothing special, but like, yo, elite clue and spiritual at the same time. Oh, okay. Oh, unexposed, yes. See, you can't go with a corpse sesh. 
without seeing an onyx bow drop you feel me three days so far you know one onyx bow a day i'll take that very good fight but the suffering did you in rune knight ores yes thank you 400 rune darts today from corporal beast there we go that's 21 kills in three hours here we go cosmic runes not bad not bad we got this from that spirit shield elite clue combo let's check it out oh a master clue all right that's pretty nice you know this is the first time i've ever gotten a master clue from elite clue at least in the last 40 elite clues i shit you not all right nice oh no drop but that that was a pr though extended raid you know done in just about 36 minutes so pretty happy about that congrats on 2500 oh yeah dang i wasn't even paying attention man i'm slacking well as you can see i hit 2500 uh zora kc so i don't really need the scales right now i have like 40k and you know with twisted bow i don't really use that much but oh man it's actually really fun using all the new setups and stuff you know with like twisted bow combo so i'm just here I know eventually I'll have to go back anyway, so it's better to stock up right now while I'm, while I'm really enjoying it. So 2500 KC, pretty good milestone, very nice, probably no space to pick it up. Oh, Elite Clues Scroll! We got ourselves uh, two Master Clues prepped up, so I'll probably do another one in the near future, but let's check it out, shall we? Alright, pretty good actually, tons of... Uh, Limbo Roots and Deference there. That's good. And, of course, the Wines Army. So, actually, pretty happy about this Master Clue here. No, He's already did it. Oh, man. Actually. There we go. Screw you, Fespila. Finally, I'm not noodling anymore, which is good. You're dead. Screw you, bitch. Revenge for last time. Alright, guys. This is the finale. In a way. Yeah, it's a bit slower than I was expecting. But I did end up getting the 99 fletching in between. So I guess that makes up for the delay here. Uh, with school and all that. But anyways, this is probably the last uh, useful 99 skill cape that I will be achieving. Uh, aside from, obviously, max cape which combines everything here it is 99 crafting guys oh man that's crazy dude one of the most useful skill capes currently in the game guys if i were to guess i think most of my skills actually are 99 now so that is really amazing really glad to have it i'm gonna be using this cape everywhere i go but right now let's talking and let's get this cape all right master crafter you know what i'm here for yes i want to talk to you about the skill cape yes that was it all right guys the freaking crafting cape right there all right let's do the skill perk first time doing it on old school runescape yes first 99 crafting ever this is what I wanted, man. This infinite teleport to the crafting guild. Look at this. How close to the bank chest. I will be here a lot. So when I normally want to go to a bank quickly, I usually go to the raids bank. Fairly close. Uh, not as close as crafting guild, but pretty competitive. Or I go to Sears bank, right? So those were the two usual spots. However, with the crafting cape, I can just you know go to the crafting guild and it is not only closer but even more accessible i don't have to bring runes to teleport to the bank so these are the uh, final products from the 99 crafting grind because i think i started around like 93 or something right yeah i started 93 because i made the sun emulator a while ago boosting so yeah i made myself uh, over 9,000 sapphire rings 9,000 ruby amulets and the 15,000 freaking emerald amulets and yeah there's a lot of GP in this of course the sapphire rings I'll slowly use them all up 
uh, as I make recoils. But these two, they're just back of money. You know, I'm not gonna go on my way to sell these yet. If I do need money, you know, these will probably be one of the first things to go. But as for now, it's a cool collection that uh, I can have, you know, in my uh, account. But yeah, it's not bad. Uh, there's a ton of other resources that I plan on using actually, but I actually never got around to using it, like the dehydes. I was thinking maybe I can use that for the final, but I ended up crafting a lot of gems and cutting them that, yeah, I didn't have to. So we'll keep these in mind uh, for future if I need money to as well. So never did end up using the silver ores, but I really wanted to. It would have been really cool, but yeah, I ended up just getting so many more gems while I was raiding. Either way, we still got the 99 crafting though, so that's nice. So on the last episode, at the very end of the video, I mentioned that I wanted to make a progression uh, spreadsheet for this Iron Man, just like I did for my Archer Iron Man, and I am currently working on it. So I've spent quite a bit of time making this. I'm not done yet, but I have like, you know, the bulk of the information down. So we got stuff like from Barrows, you know, all the Slayer bosses, Slayer uh, Uniques, Diagonal Kings, uh, miscellaneous stuff like Dragon Warhammer, Fistage, and so on. And of course, we got the major bosses like God Wars bosses, Wilderness bosses, uh, Corp, of course, Raids, and Inferno, and of course, Future, PVM, Forecast, and Raids 2. So, some of the information being detailed is the amount of uh, sets of certain items I have, and the KC that I first got the first set of items, and the date achieved. Now, I will eventually finish all of the information and fill it all down, but right now, uh, I just don't have the time to work on it, so I think this is good enough for now. So if you guys want to have a detailed look at my uh, PVM progress, I will have the spreadsheet link viewable to the public. You can find this link in the description of every uh, future video for this series. Also, if you do like this spreadsheet and you want to use it for yourself, you can. Uh, once you go to this page, you can go on the file option of Google Spreadsheets. And then you can just uh, go ahead and copy this. Make a copy right here. You click on that and you'll have your own spreadsheet. Just make sure you have a Google account. I'm sure you all do. And you're good to go. Uh, also, in this spreadsheet, I'm planning on, of course, making another uh, progress. This one is for skilling and miscellaneous, but I haven't uh, done any work on this yet. But yeah. Uh, on the next episode, I will probably have it all finished, so it's going to look really, really nice, and I can't wait to show you guys. So now that another major skill and goal is out of the way, a lot of you guys are always going to be asking me, what is the next one? Well, I'm going to, uh, you know, spend some time to think about that because I don't like to rush into, you know, uh, major skill and goals right away, back to back, so I'll take a break, and uh, maybe in the episode or two, I will, you know, figure out what I want to do for the next skill and goal and I'll tell you guys then. We got some crazy updates in about two weeks. Dragon Slayer 2 and all of the other things that are coming with it so that's amazing so I uh, will be very excited to release uh, future videos you know for the upcoming month. And anyways if you are new to the series and you would like to stay up to date with progress for this Iron Man feel free to subscribe to the channel that way you know exactly when the next video will come out. But otherwise, I hope to see you guys soon with another video in a few days. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.